In the following video, we will demonstrate the preoperative surgical planning of open wedge high tibial osteotomy for genivarum deformity of tibial origin. The first step is to obtain a long leg radiographs that includes both the hip, knee, and ankle joints to define coronal plane deformity. The first prerequisite is that we should obtain this radiograph in standing position. The other pre requisite is that both the patella should be facing forwards. In the next step, we mark the center of femoral head and the center of ankle joint. A line from the center of the femoral head to the center of ankle joint is drawn which represents the preoperative weight bearing axis slash mechanical axis. It is generally referred as me Kulich line. A line is drawn connecting the medial and lateral end of tibial plateau. One should be careful to exclude osteophytes from this line drawing. The next step is to identify Fujisawa's point as it lies on the proximal tibia line at 62.5% away from medial edge of the tibial plateau. Approximately, it lies close to the lateral edge of tibial spine. A line is drawn from the center of the femoral head that goes distally passing through Fujisawa point. It will distally represent the ankle center after corrective osteotomy. Now, we identify the hinge point or pivot point below the subchondral sclerosis of the lateral tibial plateau. It should be at least 1 cm below the lateral plateau but preferably 18 mm in males and 15 mm in females. It approximately corresponds with the tip of fibular head. For the estimation of correction angle of osteotomy, a line is drawn from the hinge point to preoperative ankle center and another line from the hinge point to postoperative ankle center. The angle between these two lines is the correction angle of osteotomy. Medial to lateral osteotomy line is marked that projects at 110 degrees obliquely towards hinge point laterally. One must be careful to leave at least 3 cm medial bone to accommodate 4 plate screws in the proximal fragment. Intraoperatively, the osteotomy line should be started just proximal to the attachment of P's and Sohinus. Correction angle is then translated to the quantum of medial opening after osteotomy with the help of Hernagus table. The calculation can be simplified by using the rule of 57 which states that a circle of radius 57 mm has the circumference of 360 mm and each millimeter on the periphery subtends one degree angle from the center.